now girls, uh, as you mentioned, and many, uh, they, they, they can reach to that level. Yes. Do you think that is it enough or when they finish their studies, when they go to the reality, yeah. uh, go to the field and they have to face yeah. gender bias issues? Yeah. Uh, how much do you think that it's an issue? No. Getting the studies, there is another case. Yeah. The Islamic University, mm -hmm. University that provides yeah. a really good environment, more yeah. gender friendly. When they, once they finish their studies, then what kind of problem they face? In our society, for example, one can, a lady can go to EPCO or many other countries, FIA or many other organizations. Yes, yes. How do you observe this? Uh, I think that uh, now, uh, each and every uh, organization, uh, the kind of organization you have just mentioned, have uh, a considerable number of ladies working in uh, those uh, organizations. And now from army and police to each and every uh, segment of our society, we, uh, we can look that ladies are um, progressing and uh, working alongside with male colleagues. But uh, we don't see, when we go to, for example, let's say uh, Islamabad Electric Supply Corporation, Corporation. Uh, we don't see that means very few uh, females that are working on a desk for maybe 10%. Uh, yeah. And when we go to, for example, Army, more than, not more than 10%. Yeah. The majority of the female, we have 55%. And then, as you mentioned, that we are getting education. And then the only uh, place they can go is medical or education. Education. Do you think that there is still, you know, that we have to really focus them each and every government institution, there should be quota system or so that they should not get frustrated? Um, I feel that uh, there should shouldn't be any quota in any of the organization. Let the people compete irrespective of gender. Huh? Uh, we should follow this. Uh, and when I say this, um, I, um, I, I have a bitter experience with our assembly. In national assemblies, in provincial assemblies, there is a quota. And uh, in this quota system, uh, ladies mostly are daughters, are daughters-in-law, are sisters, are sisters-in-law of the um, already aristocratic families who are um, a member of the uh, assembly. So, uh, quota system. Uh, let uh, male and female compete on the basis not of their um, gender, but on their talent. And when this happens, I have a feeling that our daughters are going to uh, lead their brothers. It's, uh, from your uh, discussion, it gives a very nice picture. Uh, that, that, uh, that, that there is no problem for female in Pakistan. Yeah. On the other hand, this information media and the research, they say very different things. They show very different picture. They're saying that there is a problem with gender issue in Pakistan. How do you respond to that? Um, yeah, or they get the, the researcher, they come up with the same uh, Yeah, but this, uh, you know better than me that uh, uh, mm, bad news is a good news. Huh? for media. Uh, so they highlight it. And uh, for the last uh, two decades, if not more, uh, the Western uh, societies, uh, they uh, are very happy to paint Muslim societies in dark colors. Huh? So any bad news uh, is, uh, is, is, is highlighted. I um, once I taught at Columbia University in New York. Right at the bank of Marling Side Drive, there is a park, a big park. Every day, 
who used to hear the news that someone is raped some girl is uh, was going she was uh, crossing through um, the area and uh, she was molested but from new york time to just uh, um, leaflets that are distributed in the street freely there was no mention of those people we as teachers used to uh, know that such and such student had uh, met this bad experience but as far as pakistan is concerned a mukhtara mai is a celebration with them it's bad what happened to her but these things happens right in new york huh right in paris in the city of paris nobody bothers about them so please don't go after media <laughs> okay we have been covering different stories mm. even peshawar university punjab university yeah. rajasthan university many other uh. universities uh. means that there, there are uh, sexual harassment cases uh. means uh, then uh. Uh, but we are still not comfortable with your a uh, very nice picture means still we are um, uh. The two cases are really now. Punjab University, Rajasthan uh, University. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I have read in uh, the newspaper. I do not deny that such, such things are not happening here. They should not happen. Huh? But this is the not only happening. Good things are also happening. Huh? So uh, in each society. eastern or western backward or uh, liberated so called liberated there are some dark sides i have just mentioned new york mm. i have just mentioned paris uh, it's uh, these, these are the things that were happening there when i was there today also is uh, they are happening there are nice people uh, who uh, did did not like most of the population of now york new york city or paris city do not like such things most of the population they are do uh, does not like this ah uh, but it is not the whole picture uh, dark sides are to be illuminated but Mm, uh, to be uh, the, the starting point should be that we must abolish feudalism we must abolish tribal culture from this we can uh, gain much nice things but as long as they are there such things will happen why these things that i referred to uh, you just now uh, about paris and new york why they happen there because the black population is deprived persecuted so one uh, one uh, dimension of that uh, exploitative uh, system is that those who are downtrodden who are uh, exploited economically they then take uh, to such bad things ugly things they should not happen huh? i hope and pray that they will uh, come to an end with the advancement of western society but we must uh, advance also and we must uh, correct our attitude uh, this uh, this is bound to be uh, corrected uh, by the advance of education but the ed- advance of education is not possible with uh, the feudal system with the tribal culture and all such thing 
there are some problems in university, such kind of problems in universities, uh -huh. what kind of steps steps they should take, um, uh, VCs and uh, administration, what kind of steps uh, they should take? Uh, in every institution, not only universities, uh, in schools, colleges, there are disciplined committees and they have their um, uh, rules and regulations and uh, strict disciplinary action must be taken on such bad happenings.